eyes on Luka Jovic. Three goals in three games, and you can't argue with that. We're live on EA TV. And I must say, this stadium falls in the must-visit category for any football fan, should the chance come his or her way. Anfield is the venue. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League, coming right up. It is Liverpool, and they take on Norwich City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. John Stern starts alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And here's the Norwich City starting 11. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the game begins. Nicely timed tackle. Good pass. Felix Agu. On the ball, Davis. Pablo Fornals. Oh, that's a fine save. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. But on the face of it, who would predict anything other than a victory for the hosts when you consider the respective home and away records? Must score! Oh, good work by the keeper. <laughs> Playing it in. And unable to hit the target. Goal kick here. Yeah, but it's good defending. He knew he was going to be beaten in the air, but he did enough to stop him scoring. On well, a victory for Liverpool in the last game against Brighton and Hove Albion. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, I thought it was a good defensive display to keep a clean sheet away from home and then take their chance when it came. Today, I'm expecting a similar outcome because they have that little bit of extra quality. It will be tight, though. Gives it a go! Keeper not concentrating. And the counter looks on here. Options available. 
Things have changed at Craven Cottage. Let's get the news from Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Fulham. They've scored the opener here with 12 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. He must finish! Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Well, a short corner here. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. Liverpool have given it away. Luka Jovic. Alexander Arnold. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other matches. With the details, here's Alex. Yes, it was a penalty for Villa. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Did well to win the ball back. Tom Davis. Agu. Well, that's in the remit of any referee to stop play. It's what he's going to do so the player can receive attention. So a drop ball here, following the stoppage. <laughs> Throw-ins given. Liverpool have given it away. Now, let's see what they can do here. And Mane in the thick of things. And they deal with the threat this time. Right, let's join Alex Scott, shall we? Because there's been news of a goal in the Fulham match. Yep, second one for Fulham. It's now 2-1 with 34 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. And possession lost, intercepted. Well, failure to keep the ball by Liverpool. For Niles. Could be dangerous. 
Every pass hitting its target. Pablo Fornals. And pulled back. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. And that puts them in position. It could be up for grabs. Well, they can keep possession of it now. And he did well to cut it out. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. And players waiting in the centre. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. Hasn't quite happened for Sadio Mane, has it, Stuart? Well, he's almost been a bystander, Derek. You can see from the touch map, he just hasn't received the ball in the areas where he can do damage. That needs to change if they're to win here. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And a fine tackle. For Niles. And a poor ball. Luka Jovic and teammates to play it to and that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Heath. Well, can they open up the defence here? With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Well, what about that opportunity a few minutes ago? We can see it again now. Let's see about the delivery. Well, the danger is still there. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, the ball lost here. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Norwich City facing Sheffield United. Could cross it in here. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Well, as Liverpool get the ball moving again, how will they react? Kimpembe. Stones. Ryan Grafenberg. Just cutting off the supply. Now can they make something happen? 
and space available inside. He's protecting it well, and he takes on the shot. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post cover for me. So 2-0 now. And into the last 30 minutes now. Luka Jovic. Doku. Must be a goal as they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Jack Stevens. Just failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw in. Right, I'm just hearing in my ear there's been a goal at Villa Park. That means we send it over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Chelsea. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. They're ahead by two now with 66 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. A Liverpool free kick coming up. And he whips it in. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Danger averted for now. 20 minutes to go. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Excellent defending. For Niles. Barak has it. Take it away. Well, he's lost the ball. Great pressure to win the ball back. A very effective challenge put in. The 
this could square the game. Interception to snuff out the danger. For Niles. Yanoulis. Barak has it. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. So back underway at 3-1. Good ball to switch the play. Jude Bellingham. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Oh, he's through here. And it's in! They've entered into their advantage. And this is not over. Not yet, anyway. Well, here it is again. And how many times have we seen in recent games teams trying to play out from the back, not doing it particularly well, giving away sloppy possession, and then finding the ball in the back of their net. On with the game then, 3-2, what will happen next? On to Heath. Well, nearing the end of this one, and Liverpool battling to find an equaliser, Stuart. Yeah, it's been a performance of contrast, you have to say. Plenty to please going forward, but absolutely shambolic at the back at times. Still in it, though, and more than enough time for one last twist. Well, what a start that was. And the referee has pointed to the spot at a crucial phase in the proceedings. Chance to even things up here. And a timely penalty save. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. <laughs> Favouring the short one. And it's played into the centre. Well, it's the late show, and they are level again. Well, here's the replay, and they work it well just to change the angle on the cross. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So the ball rolling again at three all. For Niles. On the attack. Is this to be late drama? Heath. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. 
And attempting the through ball. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence-splitting ball. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And there goes the final whistle, a Norwich City success story in the end. How would you sum this up? Well, I have to say that was a very good performance. They played with so much energy and know-how today. They fully deserved their win here. Just a quick couple of questions. No further question, thanks for your time.